Hi, Mick, how are you, mate? Tell us all about this recent run of swell. Yeah, it was fun. It was the first one that hasn't been blown out. We've had a couple of swells at the start of the year that had really high expectations and nothing really happened. Where this one was, yeah, we had two or three days right at the start that were just really, really dreamy. Um, no wind um, and just as picture perfect as it gets. Pretty much all the boys were out, which and girls actually, so it was cool. The first part of it was like an east, southeast swell. At the start, was really dreamy and picturesque, um, and that was all. The focus was on snapper. Do you know the sand pumping guys? I got the button at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much any time we get a south swell, um, and there's sand over on the um, on the fingal side, they'll just hit the button. It's on. The, the bank behind the rock was probably. Uh, it was up there as, as good as I've ever seen it, to be honest. Um, it didn't matter high tide, low tide, it was, um, yeah, the, the bank was just, you'd come out of deep water and just, I don't know, whatever, whatever levels the sand were, it was just amazing. Tell us about Kelly, is he another surfer who just gets his share of waves and Baitings, or does he have goat privileges? He sits in the lineup just like everyone else. I think everyone's pretty stoked to see him out. I guess people, you know, when the goat starts paddling for a wave, um, people sort of walk in the basement going, oh shit, he's here. <laughs> so they pull back. You come out of that? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I came out, I had to come out through the lip of this guy. was literally on the face, not that diving. Yeah, right. I was saying at one point you were that deep. It was just like, I didn't want to kill the guy. Yeah. Because the last session went over me, and yeah. I just judged like he was exactly. I would have hit him here, like right. on his back. Right, because I look back, because I, I was filming it like this. Did you see my leg? And I was like, I thought I, oh, yeah, I did. See I you. thought I fed it for you, and I was no, like, it just went like this, and yeah. it didn't matter. Some of the beatings were crazy. Is that was there backwash or are people just trying to sit deeper now to get the jump on the crowd or with people sitting deeper, yeah. Because there was reverse rip for those first few days, people were getting sucked around the rock a lot deeper than, than normal. Everyone's trying to make the impossible um, to get their clip and uh, not every not every moment's a good one. How has the crowd been? Has it reached max capacity or it still seem to get crazier? Oh man, it, it's snapper. <laughs> um, it's, it's always crowded. It, it, you know, it doesn't matter if it's one foot or six foot, it's always crowded. You know, if you don't like the crowd, then I'm sorry, it's not going away. Um, so you just have to deal with it. No, what about Oki? Uh, oh, Ox, mate, Ox fitter than he's ever been, I reckon. Um, He's, he's going so good, uh, it's, it's epic, it's so good to see. He's, he's one person that will never miss a day. <laughs> yeah, it's epic to have the off out there. All these years later, you, Joel and Dingo still seem to get your share. That's, uh, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> yeah, no one's, uh, yeah, no one's kicked us out, out from behind the rock just yet. Um, I, guess, <laughs> I guess if us three are out, no one else is really getting waves though because we're so competitive with each other, we just come around each other. So, um, no, it, 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 there's some good kids that are, um, that are in the lineup. Um, you know, you see Bassa. Bassa's probably, he probably gets the best ones because he'll sit and wait for an hour just for that perfect one. Um, but then you've got, yeah, you know, a few of the younger kids coming through. Not much better than surfing with your mates, huh? No, exactly, exactly.